Howdy-o, everyone! Lawson here, back in action for more falling attraction! Ah! <laughs> That's right! We're right here at the Casafara's the water gym. You know what it is, you know what it says. And frankly, we're here today to take on that water like water of a gym leader. So bud, how are you doing? Hey ya, step right up! Welcome to uh Cascarfa G Volton Veloza! Look who it is! I was expecting something else. Uh, I came instead. Ugh. Aha, I see! Mesquita put you up to this, did she? It was like just yesterday that you were out collecting your batches. And now look at ya. Already champion rank. You're like all oh, one of those fish Pokemon that completely changes shape and name as it evolves. All full of life. Oh, what a great catch. And now this. Our promising up and Kumar are here to test my abilities herself. Don't worry. This old man's used to facing harsh reviewers. Part of the restaurant business. Alrighty then, you ready to battle this old man and see if he's still fit to be called Gym Leader? You know what? Yes. You got it, Kufo. That's what I like to hear. Right this way. We doing it again, poop blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are Ziggy High Z, I Z, Ziggy Bible. Ever since you fought uh, for that choice seaweed for me, all my dishes using it have been big hits! Thanks for that, guess it's no surprise you did so well, what with being worthy of champion rank. Goodness gracious, but I do ever meet all kinds of people while doing this job. I've seen people of yourself who run full speed ahead like a raging river, and plenty of people who settle down like a calm lake. The older folk tend to prefer the latter, of course, but this old man himself finds that a bit dull. Rivers flow into the ocean, the water then climbs up into the clouds and becomes rain. I am Kufu the turret, ever changing, just like water. Now, come see what I'm made of. You got it, Haas. Let's go, baby. How is my gym leader Kufu? The Bulooza! Oh, this is Bulooza! What shall we do, Luza? I know. Good ingredients don't need to cover up spices. Get ready for fresh old uh, man to. You're breaking the mold? Well, I'm super affecting your ass. Shabam! What? Ah! Rush! Dang it. Why are you not fast enough? Shabam! <sighs> Good enough. Belber. Belber. You got it. I actually switched it out and I was looking at my team comp and I was like, I have no electric moves whatsoever. I was like, we need to change that. So here we are. Redundant, it is your turn! It's about time, right? Oh, it started to drazzle! Who knew that you would have to drazzle? I did, it was me, Anya. Wow. I just need to figure out if anyone has Swiss one. Foster? I think that's just the pure water type? Uh, this is, this is conundrum, but I want to see if I, I could get Rush uh, to, like, pony up on this business. Because I want Rush to have a good time, you feel me? My friend has no god of war, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's what you are. Leaf Blade! What's the goal? Again, it's so close! Ah! Rush! No! Alright. 
to switch out to you because we can. But Nestra doesn't get enough TBH. And I like her a lot. She goofy. I like that she goofy. Well, that they goofy. Oh, an off them. Wug Trio. Wugga Wugga Dug Lug. He got it. Wug Trio gets the Wug treatment. Okay, so. You don't know all these. So that's my strongest move move. That's for the, oh, that's why I have it. Oh, you're not so fast, Lug Trio. Unlike your counterpart. Throat shot. Ooh, that's good that I did not. So, I think I can't use that one now. But, I'm not going for that. I'm going for sneaky tactic. The rain stopped. That's what I thought, baby. Shabam! Come on, give it. Good, good. <laughs> the pot of fusion is confusion! Yeah, Vanestra's still pretty great, honestly. Let's hear it for Vanestra, baby. For Bob Wolf. That's a psychic, right? We just add, did add it some of these. You know what? Yeah. Polar doesn't get enough chances to polarize things, you feel me? We need to be coming up with great catchphrases. But let's do it, baby. <laughs> Battle down the hatches, but fire for a storm. That's what the battling's excited. Oh, so he's originally a fighting type. Uh-oh. And he's just gonna turn into pure water. Oh, no. Oh, no! Get out of there! Get out of there! Oh! Let's go for stab because I just realized. A carbon blow without rising! Think outside the crab trap, I say! He's doing it! Oh, jeez. I don't know if I got it. Cause like I thought he was just a, a water fighting, but no, he's not just a water fighting. He's a fighting, period. Shabam! Oh fuck! Polar! No, the ice caps they're melting. Oh my sweet. Oof. So Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Redundant! It's time for another premiere! With a thunderbolt, a sheer. Wow! Yeah, surprisingly enough, redundant is pretty great in that. Ooh, for fast. Yay! Yay! What a refreshing loss! My mind's as clear as still water! Oh, Bull Rush only got one little thing every time. You really put the pressure on. I guess I should have expected no less from someone with La Primus. Seal of approval. What a catch! The wildest currents, for better or worse, pulling everything around them, and have really wild and drastic effects on their surroundings. That makes those friends of yours who stand by your side, all the more important. Phew, your youth for vloggers got my motivation flowing up like a rising tide. Next time you see Miss Gita, tell her that old man Kofu's flowing and crashing more than ever. Don't forget to tell her, young friend, and you come back to see me again, you hear? I guess. Bye, old man. Bye. Well, well. Now that we have that out of the way, it's time to go to the next location that I have for us. Shandui.
And we are here. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's go down. Gosh. So is our last one, baby. The final legendary to go grab. It looks like we don't have, like, any of the stakes. Which I'm honestly just kind of like, why didn't I grab any of them? I don't know. I honestly have no clue. It makes me very confused, but... With this being done, it will be the final thing we need to get. Our Pokédex shall be completed! Yay! Which, believe it or not, folks, if you never tried to complete the Pokédex, it's actually pretty fun, but, like, also tedious to go do. Uh, once Gen 4 hit effectively, that's when it became rather easy to actually go grab uh, and get all the Pokémon. Gen 3 is still pretty hard to do, and for the most part, I don't think you need a vent Pokemon in order to complete those, so it's a matter of just, like, making sure you have, like, two game carts, or the ability to use two game carts effectively. But yeah, I definitely would love to actually uh, get to the point where I actually do complete the Pokedex on, like, Gen 3 and 4. Uh, Gen 3. So I did it on 4, and I did it on 6 and 7, but 7 was because of LPing it and whatnot. And uh, that was pretty fun little thing to do. You get a little certificate and everything. But in the older games, they give it to you in, in terms of, like, you could print out this little document that says that you did it, and you've been really good lately. And it's just pretty cutesy, right? It's a little cutesy little thing. I really like it for, for real, real. But that being said, we got our first one. That's all it is to it. So the rest is gonna be. <laughs> you know it, and I know it. Another jump cut! scurrying about. You heard a mysterious cry coming from the shrine. Well then, looks like somebody woke up from their nap. Wah, 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 wah. So that being said though, we need to be doing another thing where basically uh, just, you know, with the what and the what and the rrr, 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 you know, you know, you know, you know? We BR. Yeah. What do you have for me, sir? A faint sound is coming from within the shrine! Will you touch the shrine? Yeah, sure! Touch the last three. Might as well touch some more. Quick, 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 quick. Uh-oh! I don't think that was supposed to happen. The bonk! <gasps> Snaggle! Why is he scribbing at me? What do you want from me, Scribble? Tablets of Ruin. Uh, the weaken the attack. Okay. What if I thunder with you first? Would you like that? 
Good times? Yeah? What are you doing now? Power whip! Why? Why do you have that? What about some of this? Huh. Alright, we can do that again. Oi! What are you doing there? Don't be hitting me! There we go, we got it! Perfect in sight! No ruination! Ouch! Come on, guy! Alright, I guess we're switching to tops again. Why? Because he's the top! Alright, Topple. Uh, cool. I avoided the attack in your face. Let's go. What is good for you? Oh, Dust Ball. 100%. Look at that. There's that little red right there and everything. So we have a good catch rate. Gotcha! Nice. Twice. Three times. The charm! Easy. Every time, baby. Whoop whoop. Wuchin, dark grass, ruinous Pokemon. A grudge of a person punished for writing the king's evil deeds upon wooden tablets has clawed itself in dead leaves to become a Pokemon. With that, its name shall remain a mystery for me. For you, it'll be like next Tuesday. Whoop. And complete! Oh, it doesn't have to. You can claim a reward for your Pokedex. Sure, let's do it. So, Pokedex, so oh, Pokedex, give me a reward. That means you've encountered every single Pokemon there is in a fine in Paldea. Exploring the region on your own feet is a real treasure of an experience, isn't it? You know, I think you deserve a special diploma in recognition of this magnificent achievement. Come see me in bio uh, Biological Lab back at Narja Academy when you have the time. Well, as a reward for completing the Pokedex, you received a Beast Bowl. That's cool. So I just have it there now. Okay, cool. So it just keeps playing the same thing. Fantastic. Ooh, it looks so shiny! Shiny, 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 shiny. <laughs> okay. So, that means I got to go over here to collect my reward. My eternal reward. Oh, and at them! It's a good old biology lab! Oh, he has an old terrarium in there! That's really cute. Anyway, sir, give me give me reward. Ah, oh, hello, hello, Lost. Oh, uh, what? Are you telling me you've already registered 400 species of Pokemon to your Pokedex? Yep, right here. Wow, wow! You did it! You completed the Pokedex! That's amazing! Really amazing! Research on the Pokemon of the Paldean region is moving ahead like never before. And it's all thanks to you, Lost. You know, I visited this strange shop the other day and happened to pick up a little something. It might not seem like much to get a secondhand gift, but here, from me to you. A shiny charm! Nice. Having one of these mysterious shiny charms makes it more likely you'll encounter shiny Pokemon in the wild. I wish I could give you something a bit better uh, for your efforts. Now, oh, what's all this commotion about, I wonder? Ah, Director Calvin, uh, the student of mine completed their Pokedex. Upon my word! What a marvelous accomplishment this lost. She really surprised me too, pulling off a feat like this. Well, Mr. Jacques' uh, delight a certain clearly shows how commendable your work has been. Please allow me to reward you with a small gift. Students who achieve great feats such as this 
deserve to be recognized for the hard work. This congratulatory message, pinned by the company that certifies Pokemon Pokedex completion, is for you. Cool. Hey. Yay. Trainer lost. You hereby uh, certify your achievement of completing the Pokedex. May the great feat be celebrated by all. That's right. Y'all need to celebrate now. Celebrate, I tells ya. I reconfigured your Pokedex app so that you may uh, view your diploma there anytime you like. Programming is another of Director Calvin's skills, you know. But anyway, you sure did great with the Pokedex lost. If completing the Pokedex was one of the treasures you were after, then I'd say you'd had a resounding success in a treasure hunt. Quite right, Mr. Jacques. A fitting comment indeed, if rather surprising coming from you. <laughs> well, I am her homeroom teacher. After all, got to act like it from time to time, I guess. You may have completed your Pokedex, but there's still plenty of adventure to be had. I hope you'll keep looking for new Pokemon to befriend here in Paldea. I very much uh, look forward to watching over your continued progress as well. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, it feels good to actually have that in arms. But we still need to do things. You know, so let's get some more tests out of the way. Because we kind of have to. How many more tests do we need to go, Captain? We have one, two, three, four, five. So now that we have finished biology, I feel it's time for us to take on the day, because that's what we're supposed to do, right? <laughs> now, I, I hope you all completed your Pokedexes to do this one test. What? <laughs> like, what? I did that. That's what we were supposed to do, right? Hello, hello, everyone. Today is our final exam. It will cover everything I've taught you so far, but I'm sure you all will do just fine. Take your time and uh, contemplate each question carefully. Which of the following four methods make it easier to catch a Pokemon? Uh, surprise it from behind, feed it, get a berry. What, how many of the following four methods make it easier? I think it's all four, actually. Wait, using a Poke Toy. Feeding it a berry. Let's go with two. Inflicting paralysis and surprising it from behind. I don't think it's the other two. It's possible. True or false? You can get new Pokemon only by catching them yourself or trading with other trainers. No, that's false. There's mystery gifts, but I don't know if that's what they accounted for. Oh, but there's also eggs. Yeah, that's false. If a Pokemon is holding an Everstone, will using an item that induces evolution, such as a Firestone, cause it to evolve? No, it won't. Right? I'm pretty sure. I haven't tested it out myself, but I'm pretty sure. What is the probability of running into a shiny Pokemon? I think it's 1 in 4,000. 1 in 6,000 is too much. They lowered it greatly. And I think the shiny charm reduces it into 1 in 2,000. So it's drastically changed to be, like, better. True or false, the Pokemon known as or uh, Orcorio has three forms. It has four forms. That's false. But I would like to add here, I actually got to learn this from a friend. And she's really pretty. Oh my gosh, she's, like, the prettiest... And, like, she's also super smart, too, and it's just kind of ridiculous. But apparently, the Ori uh, Koryo is actually based off of the Hawaiian birds that have, quote-unquote, went instinct. They are all based off the four main islands that are there. And Hawaii has, like, eight islands total, but four of them, believe it or not, they're actually not inhabited a lot. Like, they have, like, a very small amount of people comparatively to the other four. And I gotta tell you, it's just... Like, I've heard the, the song of this bird. It's sad. Y'all should look it up. It's like... Oh, I, feel like I forgot what it is, but like... It's like the kawaii bird, and then it's like the... 
the uh, Oahu bird and then like the Hawaiian bird or what was the big island one called I'm not quite sure but it was really sad like legitimately like it, it was a mating call duet situation and the other bird because of how low the population of their species is possibly could be calling out to nobody and he was just the last of his kind which really makes it sad like damn the question would affect your grade do you have anything you would like to say about my class still getting used to this teaching thing but i sure had fun as your teacher keep teaching you could do it okay time's up whether you like it or not i hope everyone enjoyed tackling those questions <laughs> I stuck in a little bonus question there right at the end. Again. Shh. Ah, little secret. Don't tell the director. I'll grade these right away. I hope you're all looking forward to seeing how you did. I definitely feel like I did you better. So, let's go, baby. Those, those 400 catches definitely helped, I think. Come on. No whammies. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. A passing score! Hee <laughs> hee! Fantastic! Alright, then what else do I got? Give me the goods. Math, history, language, and battle studies. Well, I feel it's more tour de force to do language. You'd like language with Mr. Salvatore? Yup, I would. Class will begin soon, don't be tardy! We won't. Uh, bueno Vista. <laughs> Mucho gracias. In June, uh, today, we take our final exam. Uh, Dentist voice, uh, relax. That is, and do your best. It's vos uh, pretis. Are you ready? Let's begin. Also, for those out there, like, Man, how do you not know how to pronounce these words? Or why are you even trying to pronounce them? Because that is part of learning a language, is fuck it up. That's why. In order to learn languages, you have to understand that you're gonna make mistakes. And boy howdy, do I always make a mistake pronouncing things. And I'm gonna keep doing it. Why? Because that's how you learn. And also because I'm really bad at pronouncing. Which of the following means delicious? Gracias. Oh, mercy. It's the le delicio. Oh, what do these two foreign phrases uh, mean? Jetiyama ichi I'm dish. I'm to eat. I'm going home. I love you. I think it's time to eat. Ichi laibin dish. That sounds like dish. And jetiyama. Wait, Jeti Ama sounds like I'm going home. Jeti Ama? It's not I love you. It's either time to eat or it's I'm going home. I'm going home feels like it could be a three or or two word sentence. Um, you could just say going home and that's why Jeti Ama could be that way. Ichi le bien. Dish? Huh. I'm gonna say I'm going home. Wait. There should be a little particle in there somewhere that suggests it's an I. An I action. Because a lot of languages have that actually. Hmm. There's one article for each one. J and each. Those those are articles. Um, or maybe not articles per se. They might be called something else. Uh, but... They're effectively a means of like expressing something as like an extra bit. So like two or uh like hmm. Hmm. Ichi lebe diesh. Jeteama. So the jeteama is, is the thing that's confusing me. Ichi uh lipin dish sounds like time to eat. But this one doesn't sound like time to eat. Deteame? Hmm. If this was Japanese, it would be easier. I'm gonna say time to eat. Higa! 
based on oh what you just heard what emotion do you think Pikachu was expressing I think it was anger say it again Pikachu he got I think that was supposed to be anchors we actually did show you this and it made it easier for you to understand um I want to say anger Oh, I, I did it right. That's happy. Oh, I know. Happiness. What is what is your beloved teacher's uh, name? Salvatore. Lavadori. It's Lavadori. 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 This fini. Time is up. Uh, vos stelios. Uh, uh, put down your pencil. Uh, your pens. That is. I assume the obligatory denier. A question. Last question. That is, I gave you no trouble. I'm sure you did great. Bravo, my friends. You can get your scores at the school's front desk. Oh, I don't know if I did this well, fam. I doubt it's gonna be real. I hope I did. Shook, whoa. I'm prepared. Feels great. Yes, yes, yes. You must get three questions correct to pass the midterms. Yes, yes, yes. Please. Oh, thank goodness. Let's go! <laughs> that was lost talk for I'm happy. <laughs> I also barked too. Boo! <laughs> Wait, did B Lost actually bark? Yes, I've been told by my mom to not bark. That has been a thing that happened. I don't know what to tell you. So let's do... History final. You like history? Sure, I would love the history. I just ate something off my pants, which one, don't ever do that. And two, it was pretty tasty. Kinda tasted like jerky. I have no idea where that came from. Greetings, my little students, it is time for our final examination. Summon your historical knowledge from the dark recesses of your mind, and answer the questions. What is the area within the Great Crater of Paldea called? Area Zero. How many years ago was the Academy founded? Oh, I don't know this one. I actually don't remember this one. Let's go 807. Which of these did not appear in the Paldea fairy tale about the four treasures? A set of tablets did appear. I think a set of beads did? I'm not 100%. A vessel. A folding fan. A set of beads. I want to say a folding fan because that doesn't seem part of the region. Beads do. I don't know what a vessel is per se, but I don't think that is. Which area, uh, uh, Zero Expedition member wrote the records of the team? He did, actually. How many years ago did Professor Saba invented, uh, Terra Orbs? I want to say it was 10, but it might have been 20. Uh... Damn, these are actually hard. 20, I want to say. Your time is up, but your writing utensils down. You must ask, uh, you must excuse the last question. It is too shallow and ridiculous to be on a history test. But alas, the director forced me to include it. So ends our final examination. You may ask for your scores at the school's front desk. Oh god, I hope I got it right. History is like my best one. My best subject. And I'm always like bad at the Pokemon one. So it makes me feel a bit doopy. Oh, I'm gonna have to retake the exam again. I'm stupid. History repeats itself. So we're gonna do the same thing that I did. So we're at three losses so far. That makes me sad. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Some of my knowledge. So area zero. We're gonna answer everything else the same. Except for this one? 806. 
we're gonna do a folding fan. Uh, Heath, 20 years ago. I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping. Because if not, we know that that's one of the questions I actually got right. Uh, please be my anchor. Please. Oh. Damn. So that one. No, 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 no. No! Hi! So we're at four now. Ugh. But that wasn't one of them. So it's the very, the very last one. We should be getting it this time. I hope! <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering, I do this for work too. <laughs> so like, work basically... Uh, like, with the way that a lot of retail and fast food uh, things go, they give you the same questions over and over again, and as long as you remember them, you're good to go. On top of the fact that they tend to have, like, the actual question, like, in there, so, like, I generally just don't pay attention to any of the quizzes and tests that you get from work. Which, yeah, surprise everybody, you actually do still get tests after school. They're just not as bad, because the company needs you to, like, know things. Yes! Passing grade! Keep doing my best. Will Poo! And now I got dough of yours. How do you do? Why, if it isn't lost from Class 1A. Are you perhaps interested in the rest of the old tale I told you in class? Yeah, sure. Hm. It is convenient that you would take the bait I presented in class. A vessel, a sword, and a set of tablets, and a set of beads. After attaining these four treasures, the king's castle was destroyed. Why, you ask? Because these four treasures were actually four Pokemon. As these Pokemon were passed from human hand to human hand as treasures, they slowly became tainted by hubris and greed. Finally, after coming in contact with the rampant sea of the king at the time, they awakened us disasters and began to rampage out of control. The king called uh, for his own Pokemon wielders to defend the country. And after a fierce battle, these incarnations of disaster were quelled. It is said that these four Pokemon were then sealed away somewhere in Baldea. So what do you think? Would you say this story is just make-believe? No, because we know it's not. Hmm, very astute of you. I've read many historical disaster reports, personal journals, and the like. There's much to support the truth of this story. I am able to prove uh, the story's veracity of myself. Be sure to let you know. Okay. He's so cute. I like the way he looks. Dark skin Pokemon girls. Dark skin Pokemon girls. They always get me. He's just wolf. The beast Kanisk. All right, director. Let's see what you're doing. What you're up to. How are you? Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did. I know she is exceedingly grateful to you for your part in all this. So, I have one more thing to ask of you, though the request is admittedly of a delicate nature. Do you think you could continue being good friends with Miss Penny as you have thus far? Yeah, we're best buds already. She's trans, just like me. I must say, I truly am glad to have you as one of my students at the Academy. I believe you'll more than earn this small token of my appreciation. Ooh, a big nugget. Some big nuggets, baby. I hope that you will always stay just as wonderful as you are now, Miss Lost. Yeah, you formed a close bond with Director Calvin. Cool. 
Didn't know we were gonna get that. But I think his storyline is done. In the entrance hall again. No. Do we have his, his sweet Herba Mystica? It's possible, but I don't think we do. So let's just double check. I'm pretty sure I still need to go grab it. Uh, have you got anything to report about the Urban Mystica? If, yeah, sure. Here you go, mister. So this... This is sweet Urban Mystica. I must say, I must create something with it right away! It's so very... Sweet! My, what ambrosial sweetness this is like a sweeter honey, a much sweeter honey. Yes, as if honey's sweetness were multiplied by 100. Hey, Mr. Sargio, what you eating? Oh. Uh, it, it smells super sweet and you look so happy eating it. No, you see, uh, there's a reason for this. I don't look like someone who likes sweets, but that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I've spent my entire life trying to maintain the image that others have of me. But now I see that it's possible to reconcile the difference between my outward appearance and my inner love of sweets. Well then, Miss Lost, here's a reward for your efforts, as promised. A slowpoke cup? Uh, thanks. Kids will happily drink out of it, making it boom to parents. Thanks to you, I was able to make the most delicately sweet experience. Moreover, I even feel that my narrow-minded views have brought it even ever so slightly. Please accept my heartiest of thanks. You formed a close bond with Mr. Sarigo. Let's go. Doing pretty good, solving everyone's mystery. Hee 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 hee. Go to the staff room. And figure out uh, his last little situation, too. How are you doing, bubs? My dear Lost, uh, upon me here is as healthy as he can be. <laughs> well, it seems being quite as simple as part of this one's personality. But it's hard for a Pokemon to communicate with its fellows without speaking up. As you know, wild Pokemon use their cries to tell each other all sorts of things, like the location of food or where the, uh, there are predators nearby. So if you were to release it back into the wild, I'm afraid it may not be able to do those sorts of things. What do you think, Loss? Where does Palmine belong? With you, Mr. Salvatore! Oh, I didn't expect to hear, uh, mon mot, uh, my name. So you think it should stay here, with me? I was so focused on getting it back in good health, so it could return to the wild that I didn't even consider that possibility. What do you think of that idea, my little pommy friend? Oh, you're happy for me. For me, it spoke. At last. Even without speaking Pokemon language myself, I know that reply means yes. Oh, my dear lost. Merci so very, very much uh, for all your help with Pommy. All the more reason you should have this here. A rare Pokemon for uh, you to raise. A meowth? I'm so happy, yes, I, Salvatore, will take it upon myself to look after Pami for good. I will indeed. I formed a full spawn. Well, huh. Looks like we got a Pokemon out of that deal. One. Forget to get to look through it in the boxes. In the boxes! Oh my god! 
Look at this terrifying little bugger. He's alert to sounds. Pretty neat. Well then, everybody. That concludes the thing for today. And that means next time we're going to finally be able to finish off our trading and our thingies and all everything. And that means we're almost at the end of our post-game journey. Till then, thank you for watching. Sayonara. Bye-bye.